Welcome back everybody. Today we are in the shop and uh, we're going to be tying some jigs with wire. Um, a lot of jigs come with a rubber, little rubber band uh, and over time that can tend to disintegrate uh, especially in storage but even like catching fish if you catch enough fish on a jig and that skirt will just be gone so I got some floral wire for tying like little boutonnieres and stuff for weddings. Uh, it was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby, so uh, and 175 feet of it, so should last me uh, a long time. And what's this? What this is gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna turn all these jigs, these three, four, five dollar jigs into some some high dollar jigs and not only does it uh help the durability of it but i'm going to show you what it does to the skirt and um, it's going to be pretty cool so stay tuned and uh we'll we'll uh, mount the vise and we'll start tying some jigs <laughs> It's already gone. The skirt's looking great. The other thing I forgot to mention is you can do this to anything that has a skirt on it. So I'm gonna do it to a spinner bait, and you can do it to a buzz bait. Um, and it's gonna make that skirt poof out and make it much more durable. So not just limited to jigs. So I'm gonna screw this board to the workbench so I have something to mount my vice to <laughs> uh, because it has a skirt on it that's two by four so the clamp won't fit on that. This is just a cheap little vise for like tying flies and crappie jigs which I also do um, you can get them at like Cabela's or anywhere where they have fly tying stuff so I'm just adjusting this thickness because it's used to clamping on the little crappie jigs so we have a little thicker hook this time this is a pretty cool little swim jig um, I like how the nose is like wedge shaped that's gonna come through the grass really well so let's try this one up okay we're gonna start by parting these strands bring all the front ones to the front all the back ones to the back put it in the vise and then knock your backdrop over. Then we're gonna grab onto our skirt. Make sure it's all separated. And cut this little band. Make sure you cut parallel with the strands so you don't cut any of them. Okay. We're gonna take a little section of the wire, bend it into a U, and just kind of work it onto the collar. Okay, once you get it somewhat snug on there, we want three wraps on this. Kind of work around the skirt and wrap it three times. Okay. 
Okay, once you get your three wraps, you're gonna kind of start a twist. And then knock over your back. And then grab the twist with a pair of needle nose and kind of pull it and twist at the same time. And that's just gonna crank down that wire. Then you're gonna take a pair of side cutters and cut that twist off, leaving a little bit and then just fold that twist over. And now you have a tied skirt. Excuse the train in the background. And what that wire tie does, let's spread these out a little bit. is see the poof on that it makes the skirt poof and it gives that jig more body to it and it's gonna have a more realistic profile instead of it all just laying flat so let's do a couple more Now we're doing a spinner bait. Now this one already has pretty good poof on it, but that little black silicone band on there, a little bit of sun, a little bit of chemical from soft plastic, a little bit of bass teeth, and that sucker is gone. So we're gonna tie this up and I, we, might, we might improve the poop on this, I don't know. Let's see. Let's start the twist. And this is this is pretty simple stuff, guys. And it's amazing how much of a difference this will make with durability and presentation. You just need a little pair of pliers. You don't even need a vise, just something to hold on to it with. I'm probably overcomplicating it, but that's kind of a thing I do. Cinch that bad boy down, and you can kind of see the skirt flare as I do that. I think if you twisted too hard, you would definitely break this wire off. So just go easy, get it nice and snug. Let's cut our little tag end off. And then bend over this little tag right here. Kind of position the colors where they need to be. I think the black ones are supposed to go on top. And now we have a beautiful flare on there. It's durable with that wire and a spinnerbait that's gonna be ready to go and catch a lot of fish. It's getting hot out here in the shop. Uh, I've tied up a couple jigs. I got a football jig here. Got a nice poof on it. It's gonna be durable for me. Kind of an all around casting jig here. That swim jig I showed you with that wedge head. I really like that concept. And this spinner bait. So we're gonna go out and see if we can get some bites on these lures and we'll see how they hold up. I think I'm gonna use this guy. 
he should, I think I know of a place where he should get bit, so. Let's go make some casts. pretty windy out so I'm just gonna probably do a catch montage so we got our little swim jig tied on have a little uh, what is this called uh, reaction innovations skinny dipper swim bait on the back so let's see what we can do got it Smoked it. Swim jig choked. There's the other one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Tail's already gone. Skirt's looking great. Gonna put one of these Z-Man Helicraws on and green pumpkin. Uh, it's made out of elastic, so it's super tough. We should be able to fish this on the jig for the rest of the day and not have to change a single thing. The other thing this craw is gonna do is, is it's gonna make it right up in the water column a little easier. And I'm also gonna be able to fish it slower and keep it in the strike zone because of the resistance of these claws. Yeah. Look at this unit right here. Like bait the swim jig all the way. Big green sunfish. I think what we ended up with was a really good swim jig with a really good durable trailer that you can just go to work with and you don't have to worry about one of the claws falling off or the skirt falling down or falling apart and that's what i really like and that's what's going to make you more efficient so try this out help you catch more fish without having to worry about your bait falling apart <laughs>